Hello, my name is Elizabeth, and today I would like to be talking about productivity tips. When it comes down to productivity, what do you think of? What comes to your mind? Well, would that may be, I want you to take a deep breath. And realize that people make productivity seem unreachable, when really it is reachable. I also want you to realize that productivity isn't as hard as you might think. And I want to give you that key today so that after this video, all you have to do is open the door. As a young child, I spent my days scheduling. It was something I enjoyed. It was something I could do. But as the years passed on, it became harder. It became frustrating. Why? Because I didn't plan for the unexpected. I didn't plan right. I didn't use my time to help achieve productivity. I was just scheduling. And that's what I want to talk about today. I want to first look at my personal schedule. You might notice that I have blocking, cushion time. I, of course, make sure that I have lunch time. I have break time. And I even have physical fitness time. So moving on, I want to talk to you about tip number one, blocking. So you might notice that I have a picture of sand and rocks. See, the sand equals the small little things that we have to do in our life, whether it's checking our email, whether it's walking the dog, whatever that thing is, it's small. It doesn't consume most of your time. It doesn't consume a lot of your energy, a lot of your mental energy, whatever that may be. It's small compared to the rock star, the big projects, stuff that you have to get done. That takes a lot of energy, a lot of time, and a lot of mental capacity. So when you put it in the sand first and the rocks, then the rocks, it doesn't fit. That's like putting the small things in first and then putting the bigger projects later. But when you put the big projects in first and then put the small projects in later, then everything fits because the small projects will meet through the curve, the cracks, whatever that may be, and it will fit. Tip number two, breaks. Have you ever heard of 52 to 17? It means to work for 52 minutes and to take a break for 17 minutes. As you can see on my personal schedule, that is not what I have. I have 80 minutes of work and 10 minutes of break, but that's only due to the fact that the way my schedule works. However, one thing I have noticed that I try to do is put some other activities roughly around 60 to 30 minutes in there to help break up my day, to help do something that's something I enjoy to do, but it's still getting work done. Talking about breaks is talking about a certain type of break. Transition breaks. Most of us don't think that transition breaks are important, but it really is. Why? Well, transition breaks help us to step back, look at the situation, and figure out where am I going next. So you will look at your schedule and go, okay, I have this coming up. Okay, so I'm preparing my mind for this activity to come up. So when I finally get there, I'm like, okay, I know exactly what I'm doing now. So that's why transition breaks are so important. Tip number four. This is also something you can do during your breaks. It's exercise. It doesn't have to be hard. Maybe turning on the Xbox for a couple minutes doing just dance or just dropping down and doing 10 push-ups. If you can't do 10 push-ups, just do one push-up or something like that. Whatever you can do, do some exercise. It will help break up your day. It will also help with some other aspects like helping you to regenerate your activity, your energy level. Tip number five, distraction. You know, in the midst of COVID-19, we're all working home, we're all quarantined, so we all have to deal with distractions, whether it's a little sibling or whether it's a parent who just doesn't understand that you're home from college and you are working. Whatever that may be, try to do whatever you can to limit those distractions. If it's walking to the 
refrigerator that's three steps away, maybe move away from the refrigerator. If it's looking on your phone every single minute, maybe turn off your phone, turn off your phone and set it aside. Whatever that may be, try to move that distraction away. Tip number six. Tip number six is sleep. According to health experts, you adults need seven to nine hours sleep. Depending on what age you may be, that will change. As I said, adults are seven to nine hours of sleep. Sleep helps to re re energize you. I like to call it recharging your batteries. Some tips on sleep is to not look at bright lights before bedtime due to the fact that melatonin works during the dark. Another tip is just to have a routine to stick to it so your body knows, okay, it's bedtime now. Tip number seven is extra time. Why is this important? Because when we don't have extra time, we might fall flat on back when things that we aren't prepared for comes up. Just like Charlie Brown who focused so hard on that football, but it wasn't there when he finally kicked. Just like us, sometimes we focus so hard on making sure that we get this thing done, but then what happens? It disappears, or we aren't able to do it. Isn't that what happened with the COVID-19? We were all planning things, and then what? They didn't happen, so then what happened? We fell straight on our back. We lose productivity time. But when we have cushion room, we fall flat on our back, maybe. But we have cushion room or extra time, so then we fall gently on the ground, we can get back up and hopefully not lose as much productivity time if we weren't planning for the unexpected. Tip number eight, healthy eating. Why is healthy eating so important? Because we need to re-energize our body and get the right nutrients to help use our mental capacity to use our energy properly when we don't need when we don't eat the right nutrition, we may get enough calories, but they're called, I forgot what they're called actually, but they're called some kind of extra calories. The point is that they're, they're neutral, they don't do anything, they don't help energize you, they just fill you up, they're dead in essence. But we need recharging, we need stuff that helps us go, go, and go. So you're probably asking me, why do I care about productivity? Why does it matter to me? Well, I'm going to explain that right now. In Ephesians 5, 15 to 17, it says, Look carefully then how you walk, not as an unwise, but as wise, making the best use of the time, because the days are evil. Therefore do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Why are we doing this? We need to plan a day so that we are fulfilling God's will. In Psalms 90 12 it says so teach us to number our days that we might get a heart of wisdom so why are we doing all this planning why are we making sure we're spending our time wisely because in ephesians first i mean excuse me because in first corinthians 10 31 it says so whatever you eat drink or do do all for the glory of god we are doing this for the glory of god we need to use our time wisely to help fulfill the gospel, to help evangel, to help go and evangelize. We're furthering his kingdom, but the only way we can do that is when we use our time properly instead of sitting on a phone or watching TV all day, which is great when it comes to breaks or when it comes to little things, but we don't want that to consume our lives. The last thing I want to leave you with is the heart of man plans his ways, but the Lord establishes his steps. Proverbs 16.9. Thank you very much for watching this video. We'll see you next time. Bye.